so what an incredible introduction having you and Tori and Lokita. How did uh, this project come in your way? Well, it actually uh, started when I was 14 years old. I was um, walking home uh, with some friends actually from school and there was this young girl, Femi Kijo in Belgium. She was, she was at school for, for being a filmmaker and she came up to us and she knew one of my friends, even though there's an age difference, he's 14 and he's 18. And she asked him like, do you want to play in my short film for my first year? Because it's like an exam. And he wasn't really into that. It, was, it wasn't his cup of tea at all. And I just jumped in front of her because I heard she needed help. And I was like, I'm going to help you. I don't know what, when or what you are going to do, but I'm going to help you. And so I ended up a couple of weeks later just doing this little short film for her or with her. And uh, that's when I knew, okay, I want to be an actress because at school I always did like science, biotechnology, IT. I, I was good at it, okay, but I knew that it, was, it wasn't going to last because I love singing, I love dancing, I love being in the movement, in the performance. And that's when I told her that, okay, I want to be an actress. What I did here with nothing with you was just wonderful. And this experience of solidarity together with people that you don't know. And actually the next day you become like a family and you tell a story together was just wonderful. So uh, she was also the only one who knew that I wanted to be an actress. My whole family didn't know, my, my friends didn't know. And I didn't tell them because I didn't want to give anyone an opportunity to give me a reason to not strive for this unachievable dream. And so during three years, I was sending like mails everywhere, UTA, WME, casting agencies, casting directors that I looked up. And I still have like those mails in my phone and um, no response. And I knew they weren't going to respond, but it was always like sending a mail to the universe. I, I wasn't receiving a response, but it was motivating me and it like showed my determination. And then suddenly she came back to me and she was like, I found a casting, you can do it, let's go for it. And so we went to the casting, I did it, and I really went with the mentality of I don't accept having the role, I just want an experience of how an actual casting happens. And so I did it and then I got the role, the third call, and then I had to explain my mom as well and she was so happy. <laughs> And uh, what do you think it's going to do for your career? Well, actually, it's amazing being a shooting star. They, they told me via Zoom, so they told me that they had a few questions uh, and stuff. And so I went into the Zoom and they told me, yeah, you're a shooting star. And I was so happy. But I didn't realize it at all, like everything was going to happen. I, I really realized it when we did like the first Zooms of the program with the casting directors. And that's when I was like, oh, OK, this is something big. And uh, I'm very grateful and thankful because it's like people seeing you for your worth and your value and just feeling that some people here believe in you is like wonderful. So it makes me feel strong and I hope that it's going to boost my career, but I don't live with expectations. I live with in the moment. So currently I'm with all the other shooting stars and I we, we met through Zoom and yesterday in real life, but they are so amazing. So I'm just trying to enjoy the moment with them. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? Yeah, it is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!